This is an email from Carol in Salt Lake City, Utah, and she writes, I recently heard in the news that there is a brain-eating amoeba in neti pods. Is this actually true, and should I be worried? Well, Same this question. counts as not a stupid question. This did make the news recently. Take a look. This little blue pot looks like something that would brew tea, but according to Louisiana health regulators, two people there died after using tap water that was infected with the amoeba Nagliera filari. The parasite penetrates the thin bone that's between your sinuses and your brain, causing an infection. And then you get meningitis and meningoencephalitis and a, basically a brain infection that's lethal. Tap water is safe to drink, but it's not really safe to use in, in these. So let's get the scary stuff out of the way mm -hmm. first. These cases occurred in Louisiana. The Louisiana Department of Health and Hospitals is warning people against improper use of neti pods. So the, this Nagleri Fowleri is very uncommon. In between the years of 2001, 2010, there were, I believe, 31 reported deaths from mm -hmm. it. So it's so... But not from, not from pots, usually from no. a, a recreational water source. But I want to talk briefly about what this amoeba is. Again, we are very lucky that this is so rare because it is scary. And let's get the scary part out of the way. What does this amoeba do? Well, as mentioned in that piece, it tends to enter your brain through your nasal passages. So you're swimming in a warm water lake that maybe has this amoeba in it. In this rare instance where they had the tap water that had the amoeba in it, it can enter into your brain and it causes something called a meningoencephalitis. And what can happen to you if you're infected, usually one to seven days after your infection, you can start to get headache, confusion, neck stiffness, nausea, vomiting, fevers. It's, it's very similar to when we talked on the show before about meningitis, mm -hmm. because it is an infection <clears throat> of your brain in this unique circumstance, it's actually an amoeba. What's scary is that it's very deadly. Yes, yeah. and you can get yeah. it from swimming. You can, yeah, so, good. but we're not telling yeah. people to stop swimming. Right. Like, we're not telling people to, to stop, stop like you said, you know, it's the last swim 10 swim years in the, of the millions of people that swim in lakes, 31, 32 cases, that, that's it. It's, it's really, rare. really rare. But it, the, the amoeba is not in the neti pot. It's not the pot's fault at all, mm -hmm. it's the water. water. So you gotta make sure you use the right water. You don't wanna just use tap water. You gotta make sure it's sterilized water, purified <coughs> water, distilled water. Things so like use only, use your neti pot mm -hmm. with lukewarm, distilled, sterile, or previously boiled water. Right. Obviously do not use hot or boiling water. Right. Having said that, I don't want people to feel like if they've used tap water that all the tap water in this country has this amoeba in it. Right. We don't know why these particular people had the amoeba in their mm -hmm. home's tap water. We don't know. Luckily, uh, we we're hoping this is a very uncommon scenario. So. Right. Use sterilized water, and when you do that, we all say, netty on, brothers, you shall yeah, we? We're gonna show you just how safe it is. I'm, right I'm with you in spirit. Because we all love doing we're, this because it's right, so we refreshing. We're gonna turn you into a netty aficionado here pretty soon. All right, here we go, guys. All right, oh, that feels good. There you go. And it helps if you talk while you're doing oh, yeah, that's it. Right. Otherwise your... it goes down no, you see how much clear my sinuses oh, are than yours? Look at that action. You see how good that Woo! is? <laughs> I got some good at that. But ladies, you don't now. know that what they're doing is a nasal oh. douche and they don't realize uh -oh. it. Oh, oh yeah! This is yeah. better than an orgasm. <laughs> So you don't want to use just tap water. Use only with lukewarm distilled, sterile, or previously boiled water. And obviously don't use hot or boiling water when you do it. And then let your neti pot dry out after each use just to make sure there's no buildup of germs in your neti pot.